for the prep work, you're going to want to put your chicken thighs in a big bowl or a Ziploc bag and marinate them all day. I like to do it with a little teriyaki sauce. This teriyaki has a little extra heat to it, garlic and sesame seeds. I marinate the chicken thighs for at least four hours. I also start prepping the rice. So the rice is going to be the coconut rice with the pineapple and uh, peppers added to it. The coconut rice, you're going to use uh, one can of coconut milk, two cups of rice, you're going to use a, a, a cup and a half of water, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of sugar. So the coconut rice is going to be a little bit sweet, have a light flavor of coconut to it. And I kind of want to add to that flavor of sweet, but also a little bit of spicy. So I'm going to add some crushed pineapple. For the peppers today, you can use jalapenos or um, any kind of pepper that you like. I like usually do jalapeno, but today I found some nice shishito peppers at the store. Shishito peppers are a Japanese pepper that have a lot of good flavor, but aren't very spicy. Uh, some people say that one out of every ten of these is spicy. Um, that's maybe because one out of every ten I sneak in a serrano because I want I want a little heat on it to go with the sweetness of the pineapple. Now that I've chopped up the shishito peppers and the serrano pepper in there, um, I'm going to saute them for a little bit in ponzu sauce. Ponzu is just a way of saying soy sauce with an extra kick. So this ponzu has lemon and lime juice in it as well. So you get a little saltiness, a little citrus flavor to it, and it'll be soaked up by these peppers when we saute it. And then when the rice is done cooking, we'll mix in the, the crushed pineapple and this these pepper mix that we've done with, with the ponzu dressing. It's gonna make a really good combination. All right, now while the rice is cooking and the pineapple and peppers are ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my veggies that I'm gonna do for the saute. Done that ahead of time here, but I have a form of cabbage, bok choy, and another type of choy. Um, you can get those larger heads of bok choy at most grocery stores, or you can just use regular uh, green cabbage if you want. Chop it up. The cabbage is going to shrink down a lot, so even if you think you got way too much cabbage, it's okay. It's going to shrink down. Uh, I had a request from one of the people on the crew for bamboo shoots today. So this is what they look like out of the jar. I cut them up into sections. Some red bell pepper for flavor and color. Some bean sprouts. Some already shredded up carrot to save me some work there. And then I chopped up some scallions to mix into the fried rice once that's all done. Side. I'm going to shut the lid for about the last four minutes or so, make sure they're cooked all the way through. I'm here on probably the best fire station patio in the state of Arizona, so I try to come out here and grill as much as I can and see why. Now check this out, if your grill is not completely full with meat, you didn't get enough meat. Especially if you're cooking for firefighters. So this is a good looking grill right here. We're good to go. Now, this is how we eat like a firefighter. You gotta make a big plate. This plate might not be big enough actually, but we're gonna try it. Let's see what we can do. You got your coconut rice. Pineapple, jalapeno, scallions, and sesame seeds going down first. You don't want to make it a pile because everything else will roll off the top, so flatten it out a little bit. A lot more to come, so get yourself a couple good scoops of rice there. Sauteed veggies. And Grilled chicken pie. That's looking pretty good. Eat that. 